Hey YouTube, Jay Kilroy here. We're going to start a new project. Um, <clears throat> i got to give credit for the idea of the project. Um, I saw the project, this part we're going to build on uh, the homeshopmachinist.net forum. Uh, in the general forums there is a post on uh, shopmade tools and post number 1630 there will be a link in the description below made by a member that goes by the call sign Dickie Bird. This post was made on uh, July 22nd of this year. Um, made a really neat fixture for setting center height in the lathe, um, which is uh, always, uh, there's, there's a lot of fixtures and stuff out there, but this uh, part that he made was uh, far and away. Um, it's a fixture that uses a little um, short throw indicator we have here and a few other components and uh, uh, come up with a way to set center height on the lathe repeatedly to a thou or less. So it's a, it, it, it's a neat little component. It, it doesn't suit all particular applications because it does chuck in the lathe and uh, so it won't really do you any good when, uh, you, are, when you already have a workpiece. But um, it does look valuable. Uh, it also uh, has the added benefit of being able to rotate around either vertically for center height or around flat for uh, using a offset feature of a DRO if your lathe is so equipped. Unfortunately mine is not, but hopefully we'll rectify that soon. Um, anyway, we're going to get started. we got some uh, par pieces parts and um, bring the camera around here. Again, there was a, a link to the post in the description. Uh, there will be a drawing. There will be a link. When I get it done, I think I'll do the drawing uh, after the fact here. It's a very simple little project, uh, but there will be a link to that in the drawing as well. And um, uh, we'll go from there. So we move the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, we're starting off with a piece of um, uh, this is a piece of chrome molly tube, half inch O'Day heavy wall chrome molly tube. And the way this thing works is um, you use a um, dowel pin. This is a six inch long. Uh, quarter inch dial pin and it uh, sits into your lathe uh, in a tube in, in, a, in a guide and then you you calibrate your um, your indicator off the OD of the dial pin then you take half the distance and that's your center height and then you set off of that so I've got this piece of a half inch OD chrome molly tube um, and I've got this dowel pin here, and then what I've got here is a little drill bushing. Um, this is a quarter inch ID, three eighths inch OD, a one inch long standard drill bushing. So we're going to uh, drill ream uh, this piece for this drill bushing, which will be locked headed in. So uh, it's already chucked up here in the uh, collet chuck, and I've put a uh, uh, chamfer here on the end and faced it off already. So we're going to go ahead and drill this out and then uh, put a 3 8 inch reamer on it and then we're going to uh, lock tight in this uh, drill bushing uh, that will uh, hold this, uh, uh, this rather snug fit which is what you want but it'll hold this uh, dowel pin. Uh, the dowel pin is actually a pretty tight fit in this tubing but I, I, I don't think quite tight enough um, you really can't depend on uh, on that surface so we're going to put this drill bushing in there for uh, just uh, to make sure that it, it stays uh, straight in there. Alright we're going to drill through here we're going to drill into the a depth of about an inch maybe a little farther uh, with a 2364 drill to prepare for a 3 8 inch OD reamer. Nice sharp drill. I'm sure you noticed we got nice long 
straight even chips uh, just for those interested this uh, drill bit is a part of the uh, Triumph drill uh, thunder bit line um, I find them to be um, uh, very good drills very well made cut very evenly so let's get a reamer in here and ream this out to 3 8 alright we got a 3 8 inch reamer here in the lathe um, we drop back the back gear lube up heavily this is a pretty substantial cut for reamer so we're going to take it nice and slow chips track dolphin if you hit bottom your reamer is going to cut over sides all right what we're going to do now is uh the um block that mounts the uh, indicator mounts to the end here of, of this rod um, so what we're going to do is um, it's just a just an aluminum block that cantilevers out here and mounts an indicator uh, but what I thought I'd do for mounting purposes was uh, since this is basically a half inch OD turn it down a little bit and thread this to 20 threads per inch and then we'll just drill and tap the block to th 20 threads per inch and that's how we'll mount this to the block so we're measuring about uh, see make sure I'm good and clean here measuring about 506 506 506. We're about 6,000 high of a ideal half inch. So let's go ahead and make a skim cut, take a measurement, and then trim this back to where we need to be. set up here uh, we got our threading tool in our tool post we've got our machine set to 20 threads per inch we're in back gear um, we've got our compound all the standard stuff you've seen gazillion threading videos so I'm not gonna labor it but uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a scratch cut something I do agree with wholeheartedly and uh, make sure that everything's looking good pretty good but I don't think you can see that so I'm going to take another cut it's a little deeper that cut kind of nasty got a little burr friendly there Looking good. Okay.
All right, memory card fill up. We're starting, the thread starts on that nut there. It's a half by 20 nut, but it's still a little tight, so we're going to take a couple more passes. That's good. So there we go. We got our half by 20 thread. It's a little snug, but that's the way I want it for this application, I believe. And uh, we'll go ahead and get these parts out. We'll press in our bushing, and then we'll start working on the uh, indicator mount block. All right, we got our piece here, our half by 20 thread. What I did is just uh, deburr it slightly with a, a light wire brushing, and um, it's good to go. Here's our bushing. Uh, it's still a pretty snug fit in here, so we're going to do the old school heat it up and then press it on uh, technique. So let me get uh, a torch fired up here. Right. Little flame be burning there. That's probably hot enough right there. Nope. Alright, so I just went and tapped it in. It was pretty, it was a good fit. Went and tapped it in there over off of the uh, anvil side of the vise, striking face of the vise. We'll let that cool off. Uh, still pretty warm, and our um, drill bushing is in there. Alright. Now it's time to get some aluminum out and we'll start working on uh, the um, indicator mount. Here's the indicator we're going to use. Uh, it's a uh, cheap import indicator. Um, it's a uh, one thou indicator, um, quarter inch range. Just something that I think I actually received as a gift at some time and it's been sitting in my box for quite a while looking for a use and this is going to be it. So let's uh, go start building them out for this. Alright guys, so we got our tube threaded with our hardened bushing in the end. We got our dowel pin which is a very snug fit into the dowel pin, I mean into the bushing. We're obviously going to have to cut this off. It's a lot longer than it needs to be. Uh, what we're going to make now is the mount for the um, for the indicator, so this is going to be drilled. This is going to be cleaned up, drilled and tapped for a half by 20, so it'll thread on here and uh, like so. And the indicator will drop in here, as I'm sure you saw in the, the pictures in the post that I I linked to in the description. Um, so I laid this out. Uh, just you know, old school style here, ruler, square, uh, scriber, and went and cut it on the bandsaw. Now I'm going to clean it up on the mill um, and uh, 
part of the uh, Blue Sharpie, ongoing Blue Sharpie joke. Uh, check that baby out, huh? These are really pretty nice. Um, I was in a shipping supply store and they had these things for sale and um, uh, cheap and it works real good for doing big areas like this. You want to you want to lay out a large piece uh, uh, do traditional uh, layout work. Uh, this is mighty handy. It was like three bucks, right? Uh, anyway, um, we're going to get set up in the mill. We're going to clean this up, take our measurements. This is a three-quarter inch piece, um, which is enough. One inch would have been a little easier to work with, but I uh, didn't have a big chunk of one inch uh, flat sitting around. Blue Okay, we've got the um, part in the vise. We got it sitting on some parallels here. We got the um, uh, new Deluxe coolant system installed here, leaking like a sieve. And uh, got a three-quarter inch two-fluid end mill in here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just start cleaning up this, uh, uh, these two sides, this side here, and um, get us cleaned up and see what we got for dimensions. It's really kind of not critical. Um, there we go. That's the first three sides. Let's take it on out. Okay. Okay, now I got to finish up this side here and this side here and then uh, do a little deburring and uh, file work and this will be uh, we'll be ready to uh, cut our holes here side here. I could use some shorter parallels here, but I'll just baby it. Alright, so ready to lay out here. 
I've measured this distance here. This is basically an inch. We're going to come right through here. So I'm going to measure up. Half an inch. Get a little tiny square out here. And this distance here. So basically 380, a little over 3 eighths of an inch. I'm just going to mark it off here for 3 eighths. Get my little square out. Small parts bother me. All right, there we go. All right, we've got a mark. We've got a layout here for our half inch, uh, for our hole for our half by twenty. Let me get a center punch. Give it a tap. All right, there we go. We're laid out to go. Let's go back over to the mill. Let's drill this hole and tap this hole to mount our our rod there. Get us a half by 20 tap. All right. This is a three flute half by 20 spiral point tap. Basically, it kicks the chips out the bottom. We're going to not tap. I don't want to tap all the way through because I want a nice tight fit. We're going to kick it into back gear here and let me get the phone. Alrighty. We are good to go here. Back off the phone and all that other stuff. Let's get me. Backing on out. There we go. Let's uh, pop it on out of here and try out the uh, try out the mount here. All right, our. Uh, our half by 20 hole is tapped. Runs in here to a nice snug fit. That's perfect. Now, what we need to do, this is going to sit like so in the spindle. There's my dowel rod. Excuse me, my dowel pin. The dowel pin is going to, it's still a snug fit. So the dowel pin sits in here. Excuse me. And the indicator sits here and, and tops off in the middle of the dowel pin there. And then you set a zero and then you come back, you compensate for half the diameter of this quarter inch dowel and then you come in and zero against your indicator so that's the way it works what we need to do now is we need to do the hole up here for the indicator and it needs to be perfectly in line with the center 
of this pin. It needs to be right there. So what we're going to do, take this out. When I drilled this hole here, when I drilled this hole on this side, I locked my y-axis and my piece was sitting right here. So what we're going to do now, without moving the y-axis, we're just going to roll this piece over like so and drill the, drill the uh, hole, the 3 8 inch hole for the indicator. 